Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Hannah Burbank. New security measures are coming to Blythewood's Doco Meadows Park. This comes after an incident following a pre 4th of July fireworks show that sent visitors into a frenzy. Our Jalen Tart has more on how the community feels about the need for these new measures. It's just not acceptable. That's how Haley Glisson describes the incident where deputies say a teen and another person fired a paintball style gun causing nearly 100 people to run towards the exit following the town's fireworks show. The Richland County Sheriff's Department arrested a 15-year-old juvenile at the park on July 3rd. There definitely needs to be some rules set here. Um, that tragedy that happened, it could have been a lot worse than what it was. But they need to set rules. They need to abide by them, though, because children coming in here and they're starting this ruckus and they're also damaging Blythewood's property. In response to the incident, town leaders are considering measures to make the park safer, like fencing around the perimeter of the park. Leaders also look to require park visitors to have a clear bag and to pass through a metal detector upon entry at a large event. Glisten added her own idea in effort to make the park safer. I think there should be a curfew here, like say after six or eight, you should have to be a certain age to even enter the grounds of it, but if you're like 16, you always need an adult with you. I also spoke to Blythewood's town administrator, Daniel Steins. He says the number one priority for the changes at Doco Meadows is safety. We want the community to realize that um, while none of these instances that took place this year uh, were so severe in nature that, you know, that there was any further regret, but we also want the community to know that we take these things and these matters serious. Reporting in Blythewood, Jalen Tart, WIS News 10. The first event for the new security measures will be the town's Christmas parade. Town Council will hear more about this plan at its next council meeting on Monday.